Hey everyone, in this video I will explain few solutions to fix MW3 pocket burst problem. Let's get started. First of all, it's better to disable any third party antivirus or Windows security on your computer. After that, open up command prompt. So to do that, go to search bar and type in there CMD and make sure to run it as administrator. Type this command in the command prompt SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. If there are any bugs on your computer, this command will repair it. And while you got the command prompt open, type the following commands to clear DNS caches. You need to copy and paste all these commands in here one by one. These commands will clear the DNS caches. I will also leave the commands in the video description. After you done this, then just close this one and also you need to make sure your windows is all up to date. So to do that, just go to windows update, then check for updates manually. And if there is any updates available, make sure to download and install them. The next solution is click on gaming and open up game mode. And make sure if the game mode is turned on, turn it off. Once you're done, restart your computer and try. If it's still no lock, go ahead with the next solution. The next solution is to add ports for MW3. So to do that, just go to your search bar and type in the Windows Defender Firewall. Open it up. In here, click on Advanced Settings. Then on the top, select Inbound Rules. Next, click on New Rules. And select Port. And then click on Next. Over here where it says TCP, make sure it's checked. So in here we need to put some ports in here. In my video description, copy these ports and paste them in here. Once you're done, just click on next. And next again, next. Over here, give a name, code TCP. And just click on finish. Now we need to follow the same process for UDP. So to do that, just click on new rules again. Choose port and click next. Select UDP and from my video description, copy these ports and paste them in here. Once you're done, just click next all the way through and give a name, code UDP this time. Once you're done, just click on finish. Now you can check to see if this solved the problem or not. If not, then you can try the last solution. Next solution is to change or check the DNS server in your computer. So to do that, on your keyboard, press Windows key and R to open up run and type in here ncpa.cpl and then just click ok over here choose the internet connection that you're working on so in my case I'm working on Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna right click on Wi-Fi and select properties and next in here select internet protocol version 4 and click on properties then we need to select this option use the following DNS server address and for preferred DNS server, type in there 8.8, 8.8. And then for the bottom one, which is alternative DNS server, type in there 8.8, 4.4. Also make sure to check this option, validate settings upon exit. Just in case you have already selected this option in the past and it still is not working, then you can just choose the top one, which says obtain DNS server address automatically. And just click OK. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.